my best friend in college, Laura Shulson, was working. She's a little bit older than me, so she was working in a uh, advert at an advertising agency. Now she's like one of the heads of one of the big advertising agencies. Edit that out. Edit f- fully. Edit Just that. had her promotion. We don't correct. No. And I have her card. I was going to pass out um, <laughs> in case you need any advertising. Her LinkedIn link. Any, any agencies. Um, <laughs> She's like, I have an audition for you for like a commercial, like money, com- and this was the days when yeah. big money. Oh, life changing money! Somehow, who narked on us? Who narked? You know on the us? actors are making a lot of money on commercials. Who stopped that? Why? And where did it go? Where did it go? It's not like the money wasn't Who's getting coming the money? in. Someone's I'm getting guessing it. that it's like big big celebrities are getting it. They're saving it all for that big Spe- celebrity. Speed agree. Yes. It's ruined. It's ruined. It's like in the same like podcasting suffers the same thing. It's like some guy it, in New know. Hampshire used to be able to start his podcast okay. and you know review films, and now he's competing with you know uh, fucking with, oh I had it on the tip of Jason it, Bateman Pete Holmes. Oh, I thought you thought, forgot uh, your uh, name. Uh, yeah. uh, uh, I give it up. He's, oh, yeah, that was Jason Bateman. Smartless. Just, yes. Yeah. Mm, keep going. So celebs um, are taking all the. Maybe, I don't know. Big cheddar. But at the time, this was like, oh my God, I'm going to audition for a commercial. Yeah. And uh, also sort of felt, by the way, side note, a little bit like, I don't know if I want to do commercials. Like I'm an actress. I do theater. Still young enough. Hilarious. That you were like Hilarious. rolling your own drum cigarettes. Yeah. I'm like, I don't know. Yeah. Would Steppenwolf do it? Right. Exactly. <laughs> uh, so I, I, but I, you know, I lowered myself to. To go to the audition. No, I wanted it so bad. Of course. It would have been your year. <laughs> oh, uh, it would have been my month, my year. Yeah. How does it go? My, 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 my year. My year. My year. My year. It's friends. Year. You're just playing along. Have you ever seen my year? It's 365 days, my dear. Have you ever seen my week? This is a different show Anybody's I've never had? seen. Seven of them. You freak. Okay. <laughs> okay. Write that down. <laughs> Write it um, down. Idea for sitcom. Put it on Spotify. So- <laughs> <laughs> Make six cents a year. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I love so that that's what got you. I go into this audition, and this is my first time ever auditioning for a commercial. And I don't know if this is still how they do it, but the audition, the the commercials, they're called spots, and they have titles, right? But the title doesn't often uh, completely correlate. So. Yeah. This particular title said mime. Okay. So imagine my delight because I was taking mime at New York University. Ooh, NYU mime school. Mm, no, actually, NYU, I went to school of the arts. I was an oh. uh, experimental theater major, but one of my elective classes was mime. So I thought, you know, I'm a college, I'm like, yeah. you know, so You're soaking up. full of myself. I'm soaking it all up. Yes. And I'm like, mime, I got this. Like, I'm going to pull out the mime moves like you've never seen. Yeah. Not just pulling a rope. Oh, I'm pull. Okay. So I go in, I'm stretching in the bathroom because this is really going to be something. And I am... In this description, it says mime, and then it says there's a voiceover, and I'm simply reacting to the voiceover. Uh huh. I don't speak. What is the product? Phone, uh, Verizon, some some yeah. phone service. Okay. Mimes have no need for that. I guess they could text. Right. <laughs> well, they couldn't because this is a pretext. Yeah, this is pretext. So this what is, is like was phone. A, what does a this mime is need a phone. Landline. For? This is landline days. He only I don't needs know. a phone to kill another mime. That's right. Yeah. Uh, you ever beat someone in the phone? <laughs> Sorry, keep going. It's a great implement. It's Write got, it down. It's two edged. So you can, yeah. So I am pulling out all of the mime. Yeah. That I that I have learned in my two months of deep mime deep dive. I am pulling ropes. I am catching birds. I am stuck in a box. I'm stuck in a box with a bird. I'm pulling a rope. Wind? I'm pulling a box. Oh, there's wind. This way there's wind. This way there's wind from above. Wind in the box there's with a rope. There's wind in the box. There's wind taking the bird. Yeah. Oh, the thing. You wouldn't believe. the. Mm. And I finish this tour de force performance and I'm- While they're doing the voiceover? They're reading it? They're reading the voiceover. Yeah. And I'm sweating. I'm giving it my all. 
because even if I, you know, if they don't pick me, at least I want them to say like, wow, yeah. that was really something. Yeah. Like, are there awards for just auditions? Because yeah. I was sure I was going to get the one. Auditions. The auditions. The auditions. The audition goes to <laughs> the weird girl who did 45 minutes of mime. <laughs> or the best mime you've ever seen. Oh, yeah. And here so, to deliver her non-speech. Yes. So I... <laughs> and I look up and I swear to God, I have never seen more confusion, panic. Like I felt like I saw some like fear. Horror. Horror and just Silence. Even my friend, who's in the in the back, they were there. She was there, and she's like this: like, can I rewrite this memory in your mind? And she has a cigarette, and it's, yes. it's ash, ash almost all the way, it's and then loud. it the cuts ash. to her, and the ash falls. <laughs> so she's just yeah, and you hear it because yeah. it's so quiet. The ash, <laughs> and you're like, and that, should and I the, be able to hear ash right now? And she has a little dog, and the dog goes, <laughs> perfect. Perfect. I'll even pitch monocle falls off into dig, teacup. Dig, dig into teacup. Yes. Ghoul. <laughs> Ghoul. Ghoul. The, the official sound of a upper class person who's offended. <laughs> yeah, and then Ghoul. somebody. Ghoul. Yes. Faint, faint. Onto a fainting couch. Mm. That's what they're there for. Sure. Shay's lounge. All of those things happened. <laughs> Ghoul. Ghoul. And I was like, okay, and is there anything else that you want to see? Or no, that's we're great. Thank you. Wait, so okay, okay, keep going. I have so many questions, but I want to hear what you're gonna so say. So did I. Yeah. Because I just gave you what the more best. could you want? Yeah. I go home. You gave them a tour de France. Sure, sure. My girlfriend without all the bikes and stuff. Yeah. My girl. <laughs> I was going for Tour de Force. I know you and then were. I said Tour de France, <laughs> which is a thing, so it doesn't work. I was like, you gave him a real Tour de France. And you're like, with the bikes? You want to check one? that riff for double meanings? <laughs> no, I'll just say Tour de France. I actually thought it was a super riff that you knew it was Tour de Force, so then you took it one. Tour de you were France. doing a bit on a bit. No, mimes French, Tour de Force, Tour de France. Yeah. And, and then I went. There was a red light that went off in my Riff you computer, took a left and, and you it went. Taken this a means right. something else, yeah. and I went. Just say it You're anyway. Like, we're jazz. We're jazz. We're jazz. <laughs> well, it's it actually is. it's a deep trust. I was like, <laughs> even if I say something that doesn't make sense, Kerr will up. get it. I'll pick it up. Kerr, big insult. So, uh, I get home and my girlfriend calls me, and, and I'm like, "How did it go?" And she's like, "Carrie, what happened?" <laughs> and I was like, "What do you mean?" And she said, "Um." I just have to say, like, that was the funniest thing that's, like, we were dying. And I said, what do you mean? What, why, what? She said, you, oh, you weren't trying to be funny. I said, no. She said, we were just stunned at your choice. And I said, what do you mean? And she, I said, it said mime. And she's like, I know, but you weren't supposed to literally be a mime. You just were supposed to react. Like mime your reaction. Like not talking. Like a wordless reaction. So I see this thing on TV like months later. And literally, this is the performance by the person who got the part. I'm ready. So you do the voiceover of, of like- Verizon. Of Verizon. Yeah. Not cell phones, just Verizon home phone, right? Right. Mm -hmm. Verizon home phone can now cover two lines per your house. Here, that means you can have a business line and a personal line. You are making the smallest for just the audio people. The smallest subdued <laughs> nod with a smile. Just like a hmm. Hmm. Maybe there was one nod, like, like slight it, nod. Yeah, yeah, two nods was too much for this person. Too much. I'm... I'm <laughs> <laughs> why did you call it mime? Yeah, why call it mime? Call it nod and smile. Nod and smile. But that would have been giving it away. You made it weird. You made it weird.